right now, just to let you know, when everybody's coming on here, yeah. this isn't my members only, so we're live. So whatever anybody says, plead the fifth. And then if you like me, I'll give you, you got my number, my email, you could talk afterwards and we could we could gossip and everything, okay? <laughs> There's Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, hey Stephen, how you doing, man? Nice to meet you. I want you to meet Emmett. He's a really cool singer. I found him on TikTok, and I don't know if you oh, know hey, about up, him. Buddy? I want to introduce you guys. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be like the Brian Epstein here, or maybe a Bill Alcorn, a coin. I don't know. I want to try to hook everybody together. I'm All Jewish, right. and I want to make some money. <laughs> you know? Today on Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. This band is bringing it back. Arena rock great music and what do you get when you mix it all together with the blood from toto and the son of phil collins and this superstar singer that they found on instagram and tiktok you get the effect you dig what i'm saying it all starts now don't touch that dial to the show right here where are you where yep. there you are emmett that's Thanks, emmett that right good. there and emmett you caught my attention um coming on the show and um on your show i was like scrolling while I was sitting on a toilet and i thought this guy's fantastic and then you came back to me and then you told me well i have a band with a couple of other guys and th 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 like a guy like this guy right here trev lukather his dad steve lukather which is wild then you got another character over here nick collins his dad is, is phil collins not not def leppard you know, in you know, they're, you know, look at, do you get that a lot, Nick? Def Leppard, everybody bust your chops, no? No, actually, no? I think Phil it's, Collin gets a lot more of that. You think so, right? Right? And then yeah. Steve over here, Steve, who you play also in in Toto too, right? You, I do, right? yes, sir. Any anything I get wrong here, just throw it at me. You have four seconds. I don't want to get copyright strike. It's called, it's called unwanted. Here it is, bam. Welcome back. Wasn't that great? I want you guys all to click and the links and check out the full it video. It never sounded so good. <laughs> when I heard Emmett, I go, this guy's incredible. Did you? How did you guys all find Emmett and find each other? I got to know the first question out the gate. Well, I mean, very similar to what you said, man. It was the same as uh, as me. I mean, I found Emmett doing the Peter Gabriel cover. It was our uh, my, my wife Madison and I's uh, wedding song, so maybe the algorithm brought that video for that reason, maybe. I don't know. Peter Gabriel's one of my favorite artists yeah. and um i was blown away man and we were both blown away i mean emmett just him and an acoustic guitar to be that powerful to, to put on a, a to do a song like that is a tough gig and he absolutely crushed it and when i want to run away it and followed him immediately and uh he followed me back and we just started loving on each other in the dms everything but dick pics were were you know sent and um, dick pics came later, of course, but, um, you know, and, uh, and it was one of those just like we connected. We got on the phone, we talked for three hours, and he was just a bro, he became an instant bro. And speaking of instant bros, Nick Collins, another one of those cats that, uh, you know, we, we have similar family friends. Lee Sklar and Amy Keys both toured with my pop's band and Nick's dad. And, you know, they were they invited me out to the Forum show in 2018, and I saw Nick play, and he sold the show to me, man. And he was 17 at the time, just you know, wow, just burning that building down, man, with his chops and just doing everything, you know, beat for beat, note for note, totally repping his pop. But I was in Miami, and I was doing a um, a pilot for a reality show, Gone Bad. Um, the producer and the director went at each other's throats first day. And the whole thing was canceled. So Madison and I were in Miami for, for like five days and nothing to do. I was like, who do I know? And uh, Nick and I were talking. We, we follow each other on Instagram. We were talking and uh, I hit him up and him and his awesome girlfriend, Isabella. We had a double date. Same thing with Nick. We hung out for three hours and just vibed. And so we became instant friends. I, and I, I was very PTSD with band situation. I didn't want to be in a band. And then when you got these three guys uh and, and a, a possible chance of doing something together as a band I, I yeah. had i had to i had to ask them all if it was a possibility and luckily the the timing was right it, it's wild so you found emmett the way i found him because i was yeah. just like like blown away from emmett's just 
it all starts with the front man. You know, like you think of yeah. the classic rock and roll front man, David Lee Roth. Back in his day, he was the ultimate, um, the, you know, front man. I mean, I don't know how old you guys are because I'm older, but when I was younger, when Van Halen came out, I was like, nobody could top Diamond Dave back then. Mm -hmm. And there's yeah. certain artists that have that charisma. When you think about it, even in excess, Michael Hutchinson, and just, just oh, certain yeah. guys that have that that it thing, and it's really hard to come by. So let's let's cut. The, the shit here all righty uh you know what who am i gonna pick on steve i'm gonna ask you something all right what you got is Emmett, is Emmett a diva what's going on with this guy over here huh? <laughs> uh, is, he a, is he a pain in the ass huh? no, what, what? Okay. quite the opposite man like and I, you know the Emmett's one of the very few lead singers that i've ever met that, that don't have lead singer disease all right yeah and uh, uh but em, Emmett also you know as you know he, he plays everything as well so it's, it was it was really cool getting to hear from him, you know, how how refreshing it is for him to be untethered to an instrument and to be able to just come out and, and sing and and work the stage and work the crowd and stuff. And, yeah, you yeah. know, thanks, thanks to Trev for giving me that he just opportunity. And, uh, you know, because I was telling him, I was like, boy, this is my happy place now, you know, and I before I knew these cats would be in the band, I was just talking to Trev and I was like, shit, you know, looking at his it was his rate my riffs, you know, I was like, damn, like the originality and yet the familiarity with his musicality. I was like, I just want to work with this dude. I didn't know that I'd be getting together with these other cats who are phenomenal. I mean, Steve, Steve rarely shows his jazz chops and lots of stuff that he's involved in. He's a freak. Nick can play anything you ask him to. He can give you pocket for days and days. So when I found out I'd be in a band with these dudes, I was like, did I just hit the fucking jackpot or what the hell happened? Well, so let me ask you, let me, Emmett, when I reached out to you, were you playing yeah. with these guys yet or not yet? No. So at that time, I was still doing a bit of a cover gig in Fremont, Vegas, and I was trying to really break out because they weren't really uh, interested in my singing career. That's really, that's the, the bottom line. And so I was like, I was hitting covers. I was like, it was something I didn't think I'd do because I was always been an original music guy, but I thought, you know what, give, you know, the audience a kind of a kind of an end to see like what I could do. So I was just trying to take on, you know, songs that I love. I'm a big, you know, psychedelic rock guy, Zep or whatever, you know, just to show what I could sing. And uh, so when you contacted me, I loved your your page immediately. I love the trivia that you do as well on TikTok. I'm a sucker for that stuff. And yeah. I was like, I want to talk to this dude, but when I feel like I've got something, you know, uh, to, to really talk about, because I felt like I was just trying to break out. And then I thought, shit, as soon as I, you know, a couple months in and, you know, we're, you know, enjoying what we're doing. We're starting to gig around. I thought it's a perfect time to chat. It's wild. Small world, how the universe all, yeah, I saw you right away, Emmett. I'm telling you, man, I go, this fucking cat is good. If I was going to put a band together, this is the guy wow. I'd want, you know. Now, now, Nick, going to you, I feel like uh, like Dick Clark. Now, Nick, going to you. Like, come over <laughs> here, Nick, for a second. Go back in, back in there over there on the drum kit. Nick, Nick, when you, you so you, how old were you playing in Genesis? Doing the, 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 uh, we, well, we just, I started touring at like 16 to playing with my dad's solo band. Wow. And then that we toured for like three years or two and a half years, like, you know, uh, on and off. And then by the time the Genesis gig came around, I was 20, well, 20 for rehearsals and like 21 by the time we actually could start because COVID kept delaying stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I was very young. and I, But to be honest, I'm so grateful for like all that experience that I was able to be exposed to at a young age because you kind of like take it, it's it's an interesting thing when you're so young to also see like almost like the finish line of where you you know where bands can get up to and to see how the world works there was like totally like priceless uh you know information and experience to get at such a young age yeah, I'll tell you, there's some videos out there. I'm going to put some clips here for people. I'm going to take from other people's channel. That's right. I'm taking from your channel to put here because it's too good to be hidden. You got to hear Nick's pocket. This... Fantastic. Your sound is, oh, is you, fantastic. Man. The way you're hitting it. Yeah. And you know what? I'm a big fan, man. And I can't believe how young you are just to do all that stuff. It's incredible, man. Oh, I appreciate those it, dude. It's, it's, it really is incredible. I know Trev's looking at me. He's like, this guy is, I wasn't too sure, but I'm starting to like him. Trev, I'm not like those other podcasts you go on, those idiots. Th this is the real guy from Brooklyn. I'm funny. <laughs> These guys, personality. Hey. Do you want a guy who goes, oh, there's a lot of them. But I'm telling the real thing. I found oh, your man. singer before you guys. All right, end of show. That's it. I, <laughs> I am the idol man. <laughs> Hey 
I want to thank The Effect for coming on, but we'll be releasing more clips of them during the week. In the meantime, they think I'm crazy, but you can see this episode unedited here on YouTube. Become a member. Join today. And also, put your comments down below and check the links in the description to find The Effect. Subscribe, hit that bell, and click on the box right here. Your left side or right side. A lot of great episodes. Who loves you, baby? We do. Thanks for watching.